Well, hello there. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to a new video. Today, we are bringing out my spring wardrobe. I have been way too excited about spring, spring fashion, spring dressing. Like I'm just ready for it. So in this video, I'm going to be bringing out all of the clothes, putting away my winter clothes, and then also decluttering. There's a handful of things that I no, they've, they've had their time. They're time to go. So we're we doing that today. Also, one thing I feel like I just need to get out of the way. I did this about a week ago, but I forgot to film an intro. And when I was filming this, it was like 15 degrees outside. It was warm. It was sunny. It was like, oh, she cute. Winter is gone. Spring weather is here. Um, this week has been like minus 10. It's been cold, currently snowing, like blizzard weather. Oh, that's an exaggeration, but it's, uh, I had to unpack some of the stuff that I packed. So uh, at the end of the video, when you see the, you know, the full reveal of, you know, like what the closet looks like with all the spring stuff, you're going to see some things that we put away that have made an appearance. I just got too excited about Anyways, let's get into it. Well, hello. Welcome to my closet and welcome to the spring wardrobe changeover. So I've been really excited for spring and we're gonna bring out all of the beautiful, <sighs> all of the beautiful spring clothes. So we're gonna hop in there and take out the heaviest of it. We're probably gonna like have to come back a second time to take out the next bulk. We can at least do the first pass, you know, like take out the heaviest knits and pack them away. We're also this time going to do some of the like occasion wear. I have a bunch of stuff that has been sitting around for a couple of years and I'm finally <laughs> ready to declutter. So let's go. Okay. First up, this guy, it's, I have a couple of black sweaters. This one has like the fun fancy sleeves. It's also a turtleneck. I'm going to keep, or like a mock neck, high neck. I'm going to keep other sweaters that ha are at a similar weight, but because this one just feels very winter with the color and the, the neck. Time to go. Different, but similar stories here. So these two guys are bodysuits. I bought this one in the fall. And then this one I got recently at a clothing swap. And because they're turtlenecks, I'm just like, I'm over it. <laughs> we have other bodysuits to wear. This guy is going to be our first declutter. It was actually already in a declutter bin, but I brought it out because I was like, Oh, it's perfectly good. One thing I have noticed is that I don't love high neck tops. There are, of course, exceptions and things that I come fine with, but they're not a favorite. And unless I really love the top, I'm not going to wear it. And this is like really drapey almost. It's not quite a bat wing, but it is like really loose all up in here. So I find that there's just like it's kind of like wearing a tank top and I don't like that feeling in the winter and I get super sweaty, which is not ideal. So we're going to declutter this guy. Also funny enough, I've been looking for this belt. Haven't found it. I'm going to move it somewhere else. This is my one like winter dress that I like, I pull specifically out for like the holiday time, I should say. It's well past holiday time, so she can go. Okay, skirts. I have this orange one and this black one. They are very fall. And then I have this corduroy skirt, which will pack away as well. The leather one. Oh, I need to put this on a different hanger. I should have realized that it's like indenting. Can you see? Yeah, right there. So I'll put this on a different hanger. 
but do I, I don't really wear leather, but like I could wear this at nighttime. So I think, sorry, I said I don't wear leather. I don't really wear leather in the spring or the summer, but with nighttime, I feel like nighttime <laughs> in most seasons, it's like a, these skirts also time to go this is a wool mini this one is like a pleated one i don't do you wear your like plaid skirts in the spring like this one just it feels winter or do i keep them what do you think like <laughs> do you wear your plaid skirts because I do feel like if I, let's say, wore a lighter top, like a, a white blouse as an example. Here's just like random white blouse or bodysuit, right? You do like this. It's not necessarily like the best, but like you do like this, right? Okay, we're gonna sit on these for a while. Or maybe these like can stay until April or like mid-April. Also gonna get rid of this one or more so pack it away. This one on the other hand, I do really like this skirt and I did I did wear it this fall, but the colors are beautiful. They're just, I don't know, I'm always torn that like maybe I'll wear it in the spring because it is flowers. It's just like a darker floral. You know what? I'm gonna leave the long skirt and I'm gonna get rid of the other one. This skirt is another one that I feel like is... Oh, why did I do that? Yeah, this skirt is another one that is on the chopping block only because of reasons I've spoken about with... I feel like quite a bit over the past couple of weeks on my channel with having like fall specific clothes the the length of time that I can wear this is or a skirt like this is far smaller than the length of time I can wear let's say a mini skirt in the spring I can wear it spring and summer so I think maybe like it could be fun to try and style some of my fall pieces for spring Okay, I, a bunch of stuff here. First, this is a sweater that I'm gonna declutter. This was a bad buy from a few months ago. It's like way too baggy and I don't need more like lounge around the home sweater. If I need a sweater, it's more like going out. So we're gonna declutter with this guy. I also got a bunch of clothes from a clothing swap recently. I got this tank top. It has strings. <laughs> this is cute. That needs to be packed away because it's too cold. I got this skirt. I like wouldn't have bought a skirt per se, like if I saw this out, because do I need more skirts that I don't wear? No, but I really like this. And I think that I almost bought this when this came out, like in real life around like 2017 or 18. And it's one that I would like to try to wear. So this is gonna get hung up with all my new skirts, not new, but spring. And then this is a cardigan. I've been into cardigans, just like a cropped, one that needs to be like hung up properly so I can wear. This also needs to be hung up properly or folded properly. I also think I'm gonna pack these away. These are just like long sleeve cotton t-shirts and I wear them primarily like under sweaters like this. But you know what, I'll leave them for now because I do think that if I'm getting rid of my thickest sweaters, if I have these in the closet, it'll give me more options with some of the thinner stuff. This sweater is going to be packed away. I could wear it for spring, but I'm honestly just kind of sick of looking at it. And whenever I wear this on camera, 
I hate the way I look in it. So we're gonna pack that. And the beauty of the sweater like that, it's fairly thin. If I so decide, I can bring it back out in like s summer. So that is all of the up top stuff. We have to get down here. So I do actually have a bunch of sweaters to be washed. This sweater, I don't know, can we see? It's just like a gray sweater. It needs to be washed, but when it gets washed, I will bring it back because this is still like somewhat thick, but not winter. Like it doesn't give me some of the winter vibes. Like we'll see with some other stuff. So I have t-shirts here. I actually have a lot in the wash and uh, somebody gave me graphic tea for the holidays, which I can't wait to bring out. And I also, I haven't worn these two either because they're like my nicer t-shirts and like ones that I enjoy like I actually enjoy seeing them and there's no point in wearing a t-shirt that you can't like if you're just gonna wear under a sweater like if I don't want to ruin a perfectly good t-shirt if you're not gonna see it and you're primarily just looking at the sweater like it's just like a layered piece anyways this stuff here I did go through it recently and I think it's all gonna stay. Oh, we'll pack away this one, I think, because I have like a, I just don't think I'm gonna wear this thin black knit when I have other black knits. So we'll put that one away. And then I'm just going to move some of these thinner ones maybe over here like so. I have these, I like this shirt, it's white so it can stay for a bit, but I think in just a couple of weeks we'll pack her up. All of this is good here. We'll tackle this first because this was, this is easy. I'm going to keep this black knit. You'll see it in a second. These three are going to go. This is a Ralph Lauren jumper. She's had a great time this year. This one is the James jumper from Cezanne. And then this one is just like a turtleneck. She's gonna get packed up. This one here is usually like one of my most worn, but not this year. This is like one, this is the first year since I've owned it from like 2017 that it really didn't get worn. I wore it in some videos, but like beyond that, not so much. And this one is just like a black knit. So I'm gonna move this one up top. So now instead of like stuffing all of my pants over here, I have two spots for pants. These pants, plaid blue, peak winter, a uh, time to go. Honestly, these got buried this season, so. Oh, these pants. These ones here are the Ever, they're an Everland pant. The Easy Chino, I hate this color. I hate it, I hate it. 
and I hate this waistband. I'm, we're just, I'm also gonna, I'm gonna put away these leather pants. I just, I just don't see it. So I think how we're gonna divide these are gonna be like fancy nice pants, maybe. And then like everyday pants. How about that? Okay, I think that's better. I'm gonna go move this jacket into a utility, into my main hall. Um, it's not quite warm enough for this yet, but it's coming up. And I think I just want to try it out for one more season. I know it's not popular anymore, but I have it. And I'm more curious to know if I'm going to wear it. I did not wear it once last season. And if that's the case, then I can declutter it. But I don't know if I'm there yet. This dress I bought for like the summer of 2021. It's a black t-shirt dress. I haven't worn it. I've said, oh yeah, you can dress it up or down. You can put it with like a little wedge or a running shoe. But if you've watched my recent video on like what I've learned from wardrobe checking, this is the exact kind of clothing item that falls in the middle. Like when I go out, this is rarely going to be the top choice and I have other things I'm going to want more. If I was going out all the time, then this would have more opportunity, but sadly it does not. Similar thing with this dress, I don't need like fancy occasion wear all that often. And this isn't just what, this isn't what I go for. I have other dresses that I like more. This dress is just annoying. It never fit and I just kept it. I just kept it and kept it. We're not keeping, it has the tag on it. We're not keeping dresses that do not fit. Okay, this dress I am gonna pack up because I have two uses for a dress like this. Funeral or for fall. For spring, I have other dresses that I would wear instead, and I can see this dress almost like a pinafore style, where I think it would look really great with like a shirt underneath. I think it would be so fun. I'm a little annoyed that I didn't experiment with this this past spring, or sorry, this past fall, but I thought about it recently when I saw it in my closet. This is the iconic garbage bag dress. She's gonna go away for fall. I've also been looking for this belt. I wanted to wear it recently, could not find it. This dress, um, love it. It's one of my favorites for fall. And I do wear it every fall. It's too, the orange is too fall to wear now in my opinion. This dress, I hate it. I wore it last year. I've been trying to convince myself to like it. I do not. So I am going to try and sell it. Um, this is like the, this is that dress, but in a, like a color that I like, a style that I like. So this is the version. I'm also going to move this to the hall closet. I got this as a gift in the winter, fall. So she belongs out there. Two more declutters. First is this. It would, this jacket was decluttered to me and I didn't like it. So I'm going to declutter it myself.
And that is one of those things where it just takes up too much space to just keep around. Lastly, um, she's going nowhere. We just... It feels like there's something in the pockets. This just needs to go away for the season. One of my absolute favorite, well <laughs> loved fall pieces. This sweater also, um, wearing it for the last time and then she's gonna go in the wash and then be decluttered, not decluttered, packed away too. This is, this is the chonky boy. I think this was packed too tightly. Let's see what we got. So of course not all of this stuff is going to come out now. This, oh my god, this needs... <laughs> what is this? Alright, she needs to be clean. That's fine. It's fine. Oh, 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 are these the, no, these are the linen shorts, okay. Just those. I have linen pants here somewhere. This top, absolute favorite for spring. What a joy. What is back here? Oh, okay. Tape. Oh. Uh. Okay. A oh, boxy t-shirt. Love that. My pink t-shirt. Love that. This is a tank top. We're not ready for her yet. I also actually, I have this green t-shirt, um, a true favorite of mine, <laughs> one of the oldest clothes I own, but we're, I'm not ready for her. Like this is in like a month's time because she's going to stay in for a really long time and I only want to pull her out when it's warmer. Like I can wear this as just a t-shirt. So she's going to chill out for a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to pull this out too. I've been thinking about decluttering this because it's super uncomfortable, but it does look great in videos. And if I pull it out, then I'll be able to wear it in videos or like put it under a jacket or something. So we'll pull that out. Oh yes, okay. We have these linen pants. My Everlane Crops Black White. These need to be washed. My yellow pants. What is, there's like shorts and stuff back here. I think that's it. The rest of this is summer. It needs to be folded a little bit better. Well, let me get to the folding. We'll do that. All right. Okay, the rest of my button ups are here. These two. And then I need to try on these pants. I got these in a thrift swap. Um, <laughs> I don't remember how they fit. So we're gonna at least pull them out, try them on. This skirt, she's been around for some years. 
I am getting all dusty wearing, this is a bad choice, corduroy pants. Okay. I have some like bodysuits, a couple, what is this? Oh, this is a bodysuit t-shirt, which would be great. We'll pull her out. Also the Phoenix version of that. I think I need to try that on. Oh yes, and these pants also got in a clothing swap. The sun is going out. These are a baby blue. There's a few more pieces hidden on the other side, but we're gonna organize this first because she needs, she needs a little help. You just saw the slow pan to bring out a bunch of sweaters and it's just such a cusp time. This is six sweaters here. So because they're so chunky, um, I had to put some up here. It'll do for now and it'll be thinned out over the coming weeks. Um, one thing though. I have a couple of shirts that are going to be decluttered, unfortunately. 
Um, I have a white t-shirt. This one saddens me so much. This is my green Franken Oak t-shirt. And then this long sleeve, this long sleeve tee. Um, basically, these just smell bad. I don't, like, there's no nice way to say it. And um, this one has a hole in the arm, which I would have made an attempt to repair had it not smelled nasty. And these, because they don't smell right, um, I wouldn't feel comfortable decluttering them to somebody. But I did, in fact, learn that because these are cotton, this one is 100% cotton, um, and these two are 96 and 97% cotton, that all of these can go in the compost. Um, I was reading that you can put up to, I think it's 10% um, of like spandex or like the synthetic material into the compost, depending on the regulations. So all of these should be compostable. I just have to like cut them up and put them in the compost. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sit on it for a second and double check. So I'm gonna replace all of these eventually. These two were like false problems. And then this one is just like a regular t-shirt, which um, I hope to replace sometime soon. Because under every, basically every single shirt that I wear, every single sweater, there's a t-shirt. And this one was worn a lot, like a lot, a lot. I've owned it for at least three years, I think, two or three. And it's been worn a good hundred times. I uh, wish it lasted longer, but it is what it is. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna replace this right away though. I'm gonna see what life is like with this iteration. I have one plain t-shirt left in here, one cropped one that's like very <laughs> cropped and tight. That's not for everyday wear. So I have one regular white t-shirt left. We'll see how it goes. If I'm fine, then it's great. If not, I'm gonna purchase a new one.